Hey guys, welcome back to Double Tap. Been a minute since I posted a video. Just had a lot going on with work and whatnot. Also, I had COVID, so there's that. <clears throat> All right, today we have Armored Republic AR500 1A curved shooter plates. These look to be very well made. Uh, trauma pads as well, I already put one. And this bad boy right here, this is the multicam. Uh, comes with shoulder pads. And uh, it looks really well, really well made. So as you can see, I already put uh, one of the trauma pads in there. And then I realized, oh, I should probably make a video. So, <clears throat> yeah. Um, I haven't worn body armor in a long time since I was in the Army. And, um... Yeah, this, this is going to be a, a process getting used to this. I am training for something. Um, <clears throat> I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to put anything on my channel since there's only 11 subscribers. Uh, so it probably doesn't matter anyways. But, um, you know, this is part of just trying to have fun and, you know, make some videos. So I thought I'd just show you guys. Um, the multicam is extra. Um Pretty significant amount extra, I guess, uh, in terms of percentage. But um, <clears throat> let's just say the thing I'm training for, uh, this is the, what I needed. So it, it needed to be paid for. Um, in this box, I also got um, pistol holder. And so I was thinking about putting that right there. So I've actually never used one of these. So uh, a lot of this is actually new to me. Uh, I have training, but you know the the gear has changed so much over the years that um, you know it's just going to be a, a take a little time to get things figured out. Um, tourniquet. So I think this was the, um, the cat combat cat. I forgot what it's called. Uh, well, it's probably on here somewhere. There it is, Narcat. Um, again, this is very different than what I used, and I've been out for a long time. So, <clears throat> um, I also figured I'd get a hanger. This is like made of steel, and it's coated in there. Um, I don't remember what the name of this coating is, but it's for spalling. You know, so you don't get fragmentation. So it's basically the same thing that's on uh, on the plate carrier here. Uh, they do have an option for basically build i think they call it a build up uh layer so meaning like you get the the main coating and then they put extra on it and i have read that's really the best way to go i didn't do that just based on uh cost um but i have read online that you know people are saying <clears throat> if you really want it to stop all fragmentation you need the build up added to it but uh you know this is what i got uh for now and uh who, who knows what the future will hold <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, I got this out. I did get this recently. It was highly recommended online, CRKT. Um, let's see if I can. Uh, so it's got your flip out here. Very, very sharp blade. One of the sharpest ones I've ever seen right out of the box. Um, <clears throat> and then you also have a seat belt. God, let's focus here. You also have a seat belt cutter here. And actually, I've been opening packages with that, which is uh, really cool. And then one of the things that I, I'm always scared about with, with knives is the locking mechanism because I, I did cut myself really bad when I was a kid uh, due to this right here not um, staying in place and it's sliding off of the, 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 the ledge here. So these have um, a little locking mechanism. So what you do is you pull that down, which you would be like this, and then you push this over. You can do it one-handed. It's a little big for me, and I have big hands, so uh, I would recommend being careful. It also has a tungsten uh, window breaker. God, focus on this thing. Uh, tungsten window breaker. Uh, so this is a high-quality knife. It was about 100 bucks, I think. Um, so, yeah, really cool looking. All right, uh, let's see what else. <clears throat> so we got our mouse uh, strips there um showed you guys this so some of the other things i have i'll take you take you over here turn this light on and i'm gonna cut this video short <clears throat> uh, whoops 
So that's my range bag, but um, <clears throat> I already got these in the mail from uh, AR500. <laughs> and uh, so, so I got two magazine pouches and I got, uh, I mean, pistol magazine couches and pouch, couches, Jesus. <sighs> Three rifle mag pouches. Um, this is my IFAC individual first aid kit. And I just threw some patches on there. I got this in the mail today too. I'm um, trying to, uh, you know, support Ukraine and, and their fight in whatever way I can, uh, you know, from the states here. So um, if you guys haven't, please donate some money. Um, there's tons of places, tons of legit places online. Just make sure you go to one of the the, the well-known names. More mouse clips there. Um, <clears throat> I also got a uh, sling and multicam. I was just trying it out on this uh, eight and a half inch 300 blackout. I think I've done a video of this already. Playing around with a little bit of red. You know, after you build so many guns and buy so many guns that are black, man, it's like, yeah, you know, I know some people think it's cheesy or, you know, gimmicky to put color stuff, but, you know, actually, like, I don't give a shit about that stuff anymore. I just do what I like. And uh, so I'm starting to mess around with colors and stuff. But, you know, this is like, this is my hobby, so that's what I do. Uh, so I guess while we're in here, this is a little bit of a, uh, a look at my, uh, I guess what I would call my gun closet here. Optics, ammo, magazines, documentation, more magazines in the box there. I got a whole mess of magazines back here. <clears throat> CZ Scorpion, I believe, uh, Magpul, and then, uh, 9mm PCC Magpul drum over here. I got some more Glock uh, 31 round magazines. Those are OEM uh, Glock mags. I only buy those, or I have only bought those. I probably need to start buying uh, some aftermarket stuff because if you've ever bought a Glock, uh, Glock mag, you know that they're like $35, or at least they were when I bought that. Um, got myself a Schmega here. Schmega, however you pronounce it. Schmag. Shamag, um, couple bipods, um, here's my handbook from when I was in the Rangers, I think seen better days, but, uh, th this little book has been many, many, many places with me, and, uh, I think this one's from 2000, if I'm not mistaken, oh, it says it on the bottom here, yeah, April 2000, Fort Benning, Georgia, um, yeah, suppressor stuff, suppressor, uh, muzzle devices, uh, some of those are just boxes. I think there's only actually one in there. Yeah, some more guns in the corner here. Um, I've got guns for days to do videos. Here's uh, uppers and lowers. See scorpion parts. I started to make an HK MR556 and then realized that it's basically impossible to get, not impossible, but to get the receiver sets. Um... Brownells made some long time ago, um, but uh, nobody wants to sell them, and if they do, they're you know five six hundred bucks. So, uh, got some more parts up here. Uh, there's a complete lower, so I haven't figured out what I'm gonna do there. That's actually a uh, in that tan case. There is a oh god, what do you call that? A uh, FN Mauser, FN made Mauser. <clears throat> really cool. I'll, I'll do a video on that one day. So yeah, uh, I went way over what I was supposed to do. I was just going to do the, the armor. But anyways, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions or comments, you know, I appreciate uh, e either one of those or both. All right, you guys take care. Uh, I'll do another video update when I have everything put together and I figure out how I'm going to do my mag reloads and uh, all that good stuff. All right, you guys have a good day.